Good day. Welcome back to the P-Rock. Where the last defenders of Moscow are about to fall. Everyone, it's been an honor and a privilege. Goodbye, dear friends. At dawn today, German panzers smashed through the hastily erected barriers on the streets of Moscow, and half-tracks were seen unloading panzer grenades on the Red Square. Thick, billowing smoke from many fires raging in the suburbs could be seen rising into the air as German infantry stormed the Kremlin. Grenades and flamethrowers were reportedly needed to fight the stubborn NKVD holdouts intent on defending every inch of the complex. The Russian capital is now in German hands, but has been left a burning ruin. Ah, <sighs> we tried our best. Well, we don't have enough supplies to just stand here and fight all day. With the fall of Moscow, Soviet Union is just dead. So it's time for us to pull back. I hate to do this to you, but I gotta keep my own area safe, dude. All right, maintenance company one. Let's get recon two. And this pocket is finally dead. Finally. Let's work on these idiots now. I hate to say it, but... Uh, Russia kind of doomed herself. Russia kind of doomed herself. At the start of the war, Russia had his entire army over here in Japan. The entire army. So by the time the Germans had moved all the way to about this line, all the way to about this line, which is within inches of Moscow, Russia had almost no troops defending. It took him forever to pull his troops back. And there goes all those troops. Brave soldiers, we'll miss you. We lost about 30 divisions over there. No, more than that. We lost about 35 divisions. That's no small loss. That's a lot of equipment, supplies, guns, and manpower gone. Yep, the Maginot has collapsed fully now. And with Moscow down, Germany should have more troops that they could send to the west. But we'll see. We'll see. This war is not over yet, folks. This war is not over yet. We're negative 16,000 infantry equipment. Wow. Negative 2,000 artillery, negative 400 support. We just need more stuff. I guess the good news is we are getting some airplanes up. Not quite enough fighters, though. I wish we were building more fighters. Five a week, huh? Well, we still have China to hold on to, right? We haven't lost China yet. Looks like we need some aluminium. Well, so long as the Soviets exist, they'll be happy to trade us some aluminium. Uh, but I don't think they're going to be around much longer. There's just too many Germans there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. France has pushed through in the north. Yeah. 
France has pushed through from Belgium and the Netherlands. Huh. That's actually fucking hilarious. And they've pushed Italy back, too. Look at that. Manchuria. It's not Manchuria. That's not Manchuria. That's Korea. Can't fool me. All right, how goes research on paratroopers? 75 days. We can start building some of those bad boys. Oh boy, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Hi, 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 Let's upgrade our hard hats. Be a little more useful. And Mao has returned with a lot fewer soldiers in tow. Wow. Oh, it sucks to lose those troops, man. That's just the worst. Losing divisions is the worst. Yes, since um, since we're already at war with the allies on our side in the same war, uh, the guarantees do not matter. So we can come down here and take Guangxi and Yunnan now. Yep, that's absolutely true. We can probably take Tibet as well. That's a good idea. We might as well just take everything over here since we're uh, since we're not too busy. Uh, but let's split off some guys here. Let's say we take uh, 24 guys. And put them in an army that's going to get high priority. 19. 24. Alright, high priority army for Changwei. There you go. Let me just say this is priority high, so we know what we're dealing with here. Guangxi will kill Shen. Um, he's got a lot of troops, but I don't think he'll kill me. Yeah, these guarantees don't matter right now. What sucks, though, is these guys are going to join the Axis, which means we're not going to... Uh, the fuck is with this front line? No, do not stretch from there to there. I don't care about that. They're going to join the Axis when we declare on them, which means we're not going to actually get to keep the land, and there's going to be revolt risk. I haven't really checked revolt risk over here. Oh, there is no revolt risk. Nice. Oh, maybe there won't be revolt risk because they're my cores. That's possible. Yeah, I'm not going to attack until we actually have supplies in the army here. So we've set them to high. We've set them to high priority, so they're going to get reinforced faster than this army. I'll set this. I'll set the name of this theater to medium, so we know, we know that they're not going to get fast reinforcements. Uh, so all the equipment should come to this army first. Now we're not going to attack until they're ready to go. Another landing in Manchuria, apparently. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, it looks like Germany is going to die over here. Look at this. Look at this push. They're almost at Berlin. Holy shitballs. Oh my goodness. That defense of Moscow cost us about 300,000 men. Wow.
All right, how are we doing on paratroopers? 29 days. How many troops do you think Japan has at home? Not that many. I think we killed most of Japan's units. Ah, there's the airport we made. We made a giant, giant freaking airport. Let's get all of our fighters here. And also, let's see, some close air support. How did you get to there from 298? Whatever, 300 of those. Some naval bombers. Take 600 of those. Okay. And some transports. Okay. Now, Japan has an air force. It's not that amazing. He had like 1,500 planes or something. He's got some bombers right now. Come on, I'm trying to click on details. Come on. Yeah, he's got like 1,500 planes. But not all of them are fighters. All right, why don't we test the waters and see how our 200 fighters do down here? Okay, he's not contesting us. Let's add some naval bombers and do some port strikes. Okay, he's not contesting us at all. But we are going to need air superiority at, in Korea as well. So let's bring the fighters to Korea and defend against these bombers here. Because he is sending bombers, so we should be able to shoot most of those down. Okay. And research on paratroopers will be finished in four or five days. Yep, very good. Yeah, Berlin's going to fall here. Look at this. Berlin is falling right now. Wow. Oh, I take it back. Looks like he's recovered with some more troops. Reinforced, I mean. There we go. Paratroopers, one. Uh, let's go ahead and get infantry equipment, three. Improved infantry equipment, three. And let's start building some paratroopers. So what do we want in this army? Definitely want some support artillery. Recon is necessary. Engineers. Yep. Uh, logistics. Uh, it does make you use less supplies. Okay, logistics and signal company. I want this to be a little bigger than that. Okay. Drop bears are ready to rock. Now, I don't need that many of them. Let's build six. Oh. Like that. And high priority. We do not have enough factories right now. Yeah, we just now started building the tanks. Just now. It's a little late. But Russia hasn't surrendered yet. You know what? If we can get enough of these tanks produced, we can actually come over here and push the Germans back. Oh, there goes Berlin. 
Wow. The French have Berlin. And there's no pop-up for it because Denmark got control of it. But it was French troops that took it. But yeah, if, if a minor state gets control of a major city, there's no pop-up. For whatever reason. Probably should be. Alright, so how long on those paratroopers? Oh god, what are you waiting for? Everything? There's no equipment at all. There's no artillery. Gosh, there's just nothing. There's just nothing. Okay, take them out of there. Let's get the paratroopers out first. Here, speed up time, since I can't really do anything until we have paratroopers. Man, I wish we had more factories. <laughs> Crap. What? France has more participation than I do? Oh, it's from occupation. That's all he's done. Well, God damn it. Yeah, France is doing this giant push in the north. This is all France. I wonder if I can ask him for Berlin. Nope. Why not? Aren't we in the same war? Yeah, if we're in the same war, I should be able to ask him for control. Belgium, United States, France, Netherlands. Why can't I ask you for control? I have no idea. Yeah, there you go. I can ask the Soviet Union for control, but I can't ask France. What? <laughs> Germany's going to migrate to Russia? Yes, Germany will migrate to Russia. That's exactly what's going to happen. Oh my god, we're still resupplying? Oh right, reinforcements. Different factions? But it's the same war. I thought if it was the same war, it would just be all a shared pool of stuff. Huh. Well, I can ask for Hanover at least. He won't give it to me though? He won't give it to me. Oh well. I love how we're researching all this fancy equipment. We can't build a damn thing. Like the fanciest thing I can do is build some airplanes. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting stuff in here. Okay, so we need infantry equipment, a lot of it. We need support equipment and we need motorized. Are we building motorized? Oh shit, we're not building motorized. Whoops. My bad. Alright, well, we gotta get some motorized out there, so let's hold up on the naval bombers and close air support. There we go. Germany's declared war on Yugoslavia. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me, right? Like, at, at what point does that make any sense? And Spain just joined the Axis. Okay, now Spain's gonna butt fuck France for a while. Uh, but Spain, yeah, Spain's got some troops. Spain's got some troops. It's not a small Spain. Yeah, France is running away with the war score here. But he's had the easiest part of the war. Because Germany's been sending his entire fucking force into Russia for like two years now. And then France just waltzes in. Oh, look, there's very few troops here. I guess I'll just take over Berlin.
Yeah, we can cut back on planes, I guess. We really need to get this other stuff going. There's just never enough stuff. Oh boy, so we have about half of the infantry equipment we need. And we're getting some motorized. Okay, so yeah, we're getting there. More steel, more steel. Always more steel. There should just be an auto adjust button for this shit. This this gets tedious really quickly. Like if you're already trading with someone, just continue trading with them, but adjust it to the amount needed instead of having to open up all the different separate windows for each material. Uh, we can adjust our government. What would we like to change? I don't know. Just keep the points stockpiled, I guess. We can use them later. Alright, uh, 1941. Anything cool? Oh, yes, there we go. Assembly line production. Nice. Why aren't Chinese provinces flipping anymore? Uh, I think they will. They, they usually flip between 35 and 50%. He's at 44 right now. Come on, give me them paratroopers, baby. Oh yeah, how's the air game going? War economy? No, total mobilization is fine. Why would you switch to war economy? Yeah, I think we're okay there. We should be ready to pair a drop. And yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Germany is rushing so hard here in Russia. I, I think, I think the idea for the AI here on why he, oh wow, he's lost two, 2.3 million already. I think the idea is he's trying to push the Soviets out of the war so he can take all of his troops away from that front and go over to the uh, French front. Because the French front is just murdering him right now. But he can't deal with both at the same time. So he's trying to finish one war and then turn around and fight the other one. I get it. I get it. I mean, I could just poop out the paratroopers right now, but they don't have enough uh, equipment. It'd be a little silly to do that. It's mainly just guns that they need. More steel. It's always more steel, isn't it? Like, why would you declare another war on Yugoslavia when you can't even win the wars that you're in already, Germany? All right, medium tank two. Hmm.
Oh, hey, Poland's back. Poland is back. Sort of. Kind of. Not, not really. All right, so we have all of our equipment? Yes. Okay, poop them out. It's time to para-drop Japan. Where did you guys spawn? Okay. Let's go right there and let's take Nagasaki real quick. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I mean, I had planned on doing this a long time ago. I should have researched paratroopers earlier because getting the planes built wasn't difficult. Okay, now that Spain's in the war, he's actually able to push up into France, which means this front over here is going to get a lot smaller because France is going to have to come defend over here. He's got like nothing over here. One, 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 one. He's got like nothing. Over here, he's got stacks of, you know, huge stacks. 17, 6... So he's going to have to pull 95 divisions over there. He's going to have to pull a lot of that shit down here. It's not 1942 yet. Let's get some encryption going. All right, are we ready? We're ready. We made it, boys. Let's get some organization, and then we'll go attack. Yes. Yes. November 19th, 1941. It's the day China paradropped troops into Japan. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, go back to high priority. Let's go take Hiroshima. He will have something in Hiroshima. I think. Okay, maybe not. Let's get to the choke point. Actually, instead of that, let's let's reverse it. And it looks like he may not have any troops at home, which is fucking hilarious. Wow, Germans are already in Baku. Wow. Still, oh, 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 I found somebody. Found somebody. Let's cut him off. Turkey joined the war against us, okay. Well, that's fun. Oh, hey, we're building convoys again. All right, just build a lot of convoys, okay? And now we need oil. And steel. 
It's a good thing we have some oil and steel in the form of Russia. There's not that many Japanese troops here. It's quite nice. These guys are both going to die here. Two Japanese divisions just destroyed. I love it. Let's do the same thing to this poor soul. Alright, come on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Gotta go fast. Home Islands. What's going on? Uh, 300... Oh, close air supports. Let's bring the fighters over here. Shoot down their close air supports, because they're bombing my troops. It's not okay. Hey, we got an ace pilot. Grasshopper. Yes. Yes. Glorious. And tell me we're going to squish this guy. Get some organization back up. These guys, they're not getting any supplies. But if I stop my attack, they're going to... Uh, they're going to escape like that. Damn it. Whatever, he's easier to kill when he's separated. But now we gotta go over there and kill that guy too. Darn it. Supplies! Alright, but you know what? We're out of time for the episode today. Thank you all for watching. I have been Shen, you have been you. Russia still has not surrendered. He is holding out. He's at 86%. I think Germany's gonna have to get all the way over here to uh, Alma Ata if they actually want to make them surrender. And in the meantime... Wow... Bye, France. In the meantime, Germany might surrender because, you know, they're they're getting pretty close. Germany's at a 68%. Where's France? France is at 75%. Wow. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.